Okay, hello everyone, good evening. My name is Brad Gottschall, I'm the Lower Paxton Township Manager. And in typical fashion, I will give a brief uh, summary of this evening's agenda before we begin, particularly for the benefit of those who may be watching at home. This evening, the board will be busy taking action on a number of pieces of legislation, including Ordinance 20-08, authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds, refinancing outstanding 2014 and 26 bonds, uh, 2016, excuse me, uh, resolutions 20, uh, 21-21-01 through 20-21-07, uh, endorsing and authorizing the submission of applications to the Dauphin County Local Share Gaming Grant Program, Resolution 20-23, formally approving of the PennDOT Municipal Winter Traffic Services Agreement, and Resolution 20-24, authorizing the submission of an application to the 2020 Dauphin County CARES Act grant program. Mm -hmm. Next on the agenda under new business in applic is application for payment number one for the phase two project contract uh, upgrading the Friendship Center HVAC rooftop units. In subdivision and land development action, the board will consider two preliminary slash final subdivision plans, one for 122 Deven Road, phase two, lot 41 of the Mindy Meadows development, and a lot addition along Laurel Street. And finally, before adjourning, the board will move to approve improvement guarantees and pay township and authority bills. And with all that, uh, members of the board are seated and prepared to conduct business. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gottschall. We'll call this meeting of the Lower Paxton Township Board of Supervisors to order. I would like to ask everyone to please stand, and Supervisor Judd will lead us in the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll begin with approval of minutes. Uh, these would be the minutes of the Board of Supervisors business meeting for the 16th of June, 2020. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we accept the, approve the minutes for June the 16th, 2020. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 Thank you. Before we proceed to public comment, the Board of Supervisors met in executive session uh, prior to this meeting to uh, receive information from staff, and we'll be doing so again following the meeting. Uh, public comment is the time that we set aside for anybody who would like to address the Board on an item that is not on the agenda this evening. Uh, if you wish to speak to an agenda item, we will take public comment at the time we discuss that item. So would anybody like to address the board on an item not on the agenda this evening? Okay, seeing none, we'll move to chairman and board member comments. Board members, do we have any comments this evening? Mr. Chairman, uh, Supervisor Zumas and myself attended the uh, Council, of Government meeting, uh, Council of Government meeting last night, and Representative Cheryl Delosier was the speaker. Um, she spoke on that there's only a partial budget between now and November. Um, the rest of it will be passed afterwards. She talked about the pandemic. Um, she talked about the radar bill, um, legislation that they keep asking for data and they're not getting anything from the governor. She also said that the schools are fully funded um, through the end of the year. And she was telling us about the unemployment office not working, which I guess we all know that. She said um, a lot of people still have not received it since March so yep. thank you anybody else okay, seeing no additional comments we'll move to the manager's report mr. Gottschall yes sir good evening uh, members one item please if I may uh, and it's my favorite item which is the census uh, <laughs> as of last Thursday the township self-response rate has increased to 74.9% uh, this keeps us, the township, as the ninth highest response rate in the county. And again, just to add a bit of context to the situation, in, 20, in 2010, uh, the self-response rate for the township was 77.3%. Uh, 
Uh, now we have approximately six more weeks uh, left in the uh, self-response uh, portion of the census. Uh, and with this rate, at this rate, uh, by September 30th, we seem to be on track to reaching the uh, 2010 uh, level. So that, that's good news. Uh, hopefully we can continue that trend and uh, get to the 2010 level. That is all I have. Very good. Thank you. We have no old business before us, so we are going to jump right into new business, and we are going to begin by taking action on Ordinance 2020-08. This to authorize the incurrence of non-electoral debt by the issuance of general obligation bonds for refinancing of 2014 and 2016 GO bonds. And Mr. Smutter, you're going to put that into English for us? I shall. Thank you. Good evening. Here we go again. Uh, as you recall, last week you authorized uh, your financing team consisting of Mr. Wenger from Susquehanna Advisors and RBC, represented by Lou Rodelli, to move forward with respect to the partial refunding of the Township series, General Obligation Bond Series of 2014 and 2016. Uh, a pre-adoption advertisement appeared last Thursday as required by the Local Government Unit Debt Act. Hopefully you have received in your package a, a, the first draft of the ordinance authorizing the occurrence of this debt. Uh, the debt, debt right now is set in the maximum pr principal amount of $40 million. Uh, we don't believe it's going to be that high, but we do that for parameters purposes. The ordinance sets forth the substantial form of the bonds, your, uh, by, and you're accepting a proposal th this evening from RBC to purchase the bonds. There'll be a subsequent addendum after the, the sale is finalized, and I, I don't know when you're contemplating that now, probably within the next two weeks or so. We have to, uh, we have to prepare, circulate a preliminary official statement at least seven days before the date of the statement, or the date of the sale. Uh, this transaction again will be you will be issuing general obligation bonds the vast majority of this debt is already subsidized by the authority so it's good news for the authority because the savings if they are as we outlined last week are we can reach that they will be substantial there will be a subsequent subsidy agreements for both for this new debt since we're doing this on the in the form of an, a taxable advance for funding there will be irrevocable escrow agreements pursuant to which we will take proceeds, deposit that, and then we'll be pur purchasing certain state and local government unit uh, act or debt securities to fund them through the first available call date on each one of those series of bonds. Since there are no, these are taxable, there's no federal income tax consequence, and the, unlike prior ordinances that you've seen, there's nothing in this ordinance that requires you to uh, adhere to those rules. You still have to re adhere to the rules required by the Securities Exchange Commission with respect to reporting. You have a continuing disclosure obligation, which the township is up to date with. Uh, sets forth the substantial form of the bond itself, authorizes uh, the appropriate corporate government offices to move forward and to consummate the transaction. We are scheduled to close this transaction, assuming the sale is successful, on October 1. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Just for emphasis, this is a refinancing of existing debt yes. that will save primarily the authority but also the township money. It's not new debt. Correct. There is no new debt in it. No a very debt. small portion is attributable to the township, though. Mm -hmm. Questions, board members? Tom, will these be the only bonds this year that will be refinancing? Is there any other coming due or just is this I'm, I'm not aware of anything else. Okay. We're good. Okay. 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 Uh, with that then, uh, we need to take action on the ordinance. Does this require a hearing or do we just do a vote? Uh, it doesn't really require something. It does not? No. Okay. Okay. That being the case, uh, any public comments or questions seeing none then would a motion would be in order mr. chairman yes sir uh, I move that we approve action on ordinance 2020-08 authorizing the incurring of non electoral debt by the issuance of general obligation bonds for refinancing of 2014 and 2016 go bonds as presented by mr. Smita 
We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 Thank Mr. You. Smita. Can I Thank you. You need five signatures. <laughs> All right. I, I, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember that this uh, triggers a large number of signatures Sorry, being needed. That's a good idea. Nobody can read my writing anyhow, so. Thank you, sir. There you go, sir. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Thank you. Gentlemen, Luke, Nick, thank you. We appreciate your vigilance in coming up with these opportunities uh, as market conditions have been changing very rapidly uh, to uh, afford us the opportunity to uh, bring about savings. So thank you very much. We need now to go to uh, item 9B, which would be action on resolutions 2020-21-01 to 2020-21-07, endorsing and authorizing the submission of Dauphin County local share grant applications. Uh, we, of course, at our workshop meeting uh, last week, uh, heard a presentation from six of the seven applicants. So, Mr. Godshall, any further words of wisdom on this? Uh, yes, sir, if I may. Uh, as co-applicant to each of the respective requests, the township customarily ranks each of the, uh, the projects in order of local priority as based uh, on the uh, individual ranks of the supervisors uh, to each one of those projects. After assessing the average and mean ranks uh, given by each of the supervisors, uh, the final project rank listing is as follows. Uh, at number one, the lower Paxson Township police body cameras and mobile vehicle recorders. Number two, the Panther Ram Foundation's NutriPax program. Number three, the Lingolstown Association's fencing and dugout improvement project. Number four, the Jewish Home Facility Renovations and Upgrades project. Number five, the Capital Area Soccer Association's field improvements project. Number six, uh, Devon Manor Pools Facility Upgrades Project. And number seven, the Colonial Park Fire Company's Electronic Messaging Board Installation Project. The board will adopt the corresponding resolutions in support of the various projects and provide each of the applicants with a resolution and um, cover letter that they can submit to the county when they do so. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help answer them. Very good. It would, have, as I recall, this is fewer, fewer applications right. we normally have, isn't it? Sometimes there's like 11, 12. Yeah. yeah. Well, I suspect also given the fact that casinos have been closed or on reduced operations, revenue into the grant fund will probably also be down. So uh, we'll see what, what we can get done this year. Mr. Gushel, had we um, contacted everybody that applied last year? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, we have. And these were independently ranked, and then you consolidated the results. Correct. Okay. If uh, there's no additional questions or comments, a motion would be in order. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve re resolutions 20-21-01 to 20-2107, endorsing and authorizing the submission of Dolphin County local share grant applications provided by Mr. Gutschel. So moved, is there a second? Second. Seconded. Any additional comments, public comments, board comments? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Item 9C, we need to take action on resolution 2020-23 this approving PennDOT's Municipal Winter Traffic Services Agreement. And I believe we discussed this also last week, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, yes, sir. Actually, at your August 4th uh, business meeting, the okay. board took uh, action to adopt the agreement, but uh, the... Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I, my, it was my oversight in not including the, uh, the actual resolution in with that uh, agenda item, so that's what this merely does is okay. formally approves that. And it's always four years, Brad? Uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so now this is okay. this is the renewed Okay. I didn't uh, realize it was that long. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it the is. sidewalk is that just a year or um, do you know how many years that is? You know, because we have to take care of those sidewalks on Union Deposit there at the bridge and on uh, Jonestown Road. Hmm. I'd have to check in with uh, Mr. Klein on that and okay. get back to you on that one. I'm not I'm not aware of that particular agreement uh, independently, but Okay. I was just curious. Thank you. Sure. This is five years, right? No, five years. I'm sorry. I said four. It's five. Yeah, 21 to 25. 21 to 23 to okay. 4, 25. Mr. Judd, any questions or comments? No. Okay. With that, is there a motion? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the action on Resolution 2020-23, uh, approving PennDOT's Municipal Winter Traffic Services Agreement for 2021 through 2025. So moved. Is there a second? I'll second it. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 We'll proceed to item 9E. This is application, action on the application uh, for payment number one for the Friendship Center's HVAC rooftop unit upgrades phase two project, which Mr. Godchel said upgrade is underway. Okay. Uh, or did I, it, it did I miss an item? Yeah, no. 9D. Did I miss D? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm D. sorry. I, I put a slash mark through uh, one more than what I, what I thought I should. All right. Uh, well, we'll go back to 9D. Thank you for pointing that out. All right. So 9D uh, would be action on resolution 2020-24 authorizing the submission of the 2020 Dauphin County CARES Act Municipal Grant Program application. Do you want to explain this, Mr. Gottschall? Yes, sir. Members of the board, uh, Resolution 20-24 retroactively and formally authorizes the submission of the township's request for funding from the Dauphin County CARES Act allocation. Uh, as the board is aware and uh, to uh, apprise members of the public, uh, you know, the federal funding source um, which is the CARES Act, uh, has been distributed to um, counties within uh, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, um, and of which the county of Dauphin County uh, has a, uh, a pot of uh, millions of dollars worth of CARES Act funding. Um, and as a result, um, each municipality is eligible to apply to that uh, pot of funding to receive uh, certain reimbursement or uh, anticipated um, allocation of funds for um, expenditures specifically associated to the pandemic of, of COVID-19. Uh, so as a result, the township uh, hereby request a total of $2,609,043, uh, which includes $8,743 in cleaning supplies, $1,733 in medical supplies, uh, such as thermometers, gloves, masks, and other things, uh, $8,296 in equipment, uh, which includes items such as Tyvek suits, uh, medical grade masks, uh, chemical treatments for our vehicles and facilities, things like that, and $2,590,271 in uh, police department patrol officers' salaries uh, from March 1, through December 30th of 2020. Um, the, uh, the CARES Act allocation does allow for uh, certain frontline employees to have their um, base salary covered uh, through this funding source and that is what uh, that portion of our request would go to uh, specifically for police department salaries um, as I said from March uh, up through December 30th of this year which is allowable. 
Uh, so again, the total is 2.6 million, and, and this uh, uh, resolution allows the submission of, of that funding source. Very good. Questions, board members? Brad, when would you be notified if we would be getting this? What is the time period? I'm not quite sure what their time frame is. I, I, I believe it's, it's going to be a quick turnaround. I think the county already has the funding, and uh, they, they seem to have a pretty good um, organizational, um, you know, a pretty good organization around the, the grant fund itself. So it should be a quick turnaround. Okay. Um, and then whatever funding we're not, uh, whatever funding is not received through this request, we will be turning around and uh, applying that um, to the FEMA request um, that we make at some point. So, okay. um, you know, it's, it's going to be a multi, kind of a multi-phase uh, funding request, but hopefully we get what we receive uh, It's just a matter this. of meeting all the deadlines. Mm -hmm. Yes. No other questions? Is there a motion then on the resolution? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we approve resolution 2020-24 authorizing the submission of the 2020 Dolphin County CARES Act Municipal Grant Program application as presented by Mr. Gutchell. So moved, do we have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Good. Okay, now we will go to 9E and take action on the application for payment number one for the Friendship Center HVAC Rooftop Unit Upgrades Phase 2 project. Uh, they're underway, correct? Yes, sir, they are. Uh, they're, uh, they are underway and it should be done, um, you know, hopefully rather soon. Uh, pay app number one authorizes payment in the amount of $23,419.83 to the contractor Hostler Enterprise on the Friendship Center Phase 2 rooftop unit replacement project. Uh, once executed, the balance of the contract will be in the amount of $391,530.17. Uh, this pay application has been recommended by the township engineer as well as township staff. I just have a question. So this uh, 27000 is that included in the 391 or no? That is not. It's no, not. Uh, that, that, that 391 is after the payment right. of the okay. uh, 23000 Because I thought we borrowed 335000 So was this more expensive than what we had thought? It is, yes. The, uh, if you recall, the township had made a request to Dauphin County to uh, transfer transfer oh, uh, right. oh, local right. gain I funding forgot. right to I cover forgot. the gap yeah. okay yeah. that grant yeah. money over okay yeah. Yeah. you're right yeah. okay yeah okay now the light bulbs are going off yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure we yeah. had enough That's, money that was good, that was good. yeah <laughs> but it's another four hundred thousand dollars plus into this building okay any questions no. how about a motion then Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the action on application for payment number one for the Friendship Center HVAC rooftop unit upgrades through phase two project as presented by Mr. Gottschall. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 Okay. We have a couple of subdivision and land development issues before us, and we are going to begin with action on a preliminary and final subdivision plan for 122 Deven Road, Phase 2, Lot 41 of the Mindy Meadows Plan 20-10. Mrs. Zerby, we'll go to this side of the room now. Good yes. evening. Good evening. This is the preliminary final subdivision plan for 122 Deven Road. It is to subdivide Lot 1 from Lot 41 and combine it with 122 Deven Road, which is owned by Robert and Kathleen Sabre. 122 Deven Road has a total area of 0.34 acres and is an illegal non-conforming lot. With the addition of Lot 1 into 122 Deven Road, it will now have a total lot area of 0.46 acres, and Lot 41 will be reduced to a total area of 0.77 acres. The site is in the residential low density zoning district and will be served by public sewer and private water supply. The plan was approved at the August 5th, 2020 planning commission meeting. 
and this plan has requested five waivers that are typical of a minor lot line adjustment and staff supports all these requested waivers. There are only four administrative comments and two general comments associated with this plan. And Mr. Robert Saber is at the podium for any questions. Good evening, Good evening. Mr. Saber. I have nothing to add to Ms. Zerby's description, but I'll answer any questions if you have them. Okay. Looks like you'll be cutting more grass. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've been cutting it for the last 12 years, but now uh, we'll just own it. Yeah, you just own Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. And you are the owner of the lot? Yes. Okay. Do we have any questions? It's pretty straightforward, straightforward to me. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Well, Mrs. Irby, you have explained it well. Nobody has any <laughs> questions. Uh, so with that, maybe we'll make this very quick and easy. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the preliminary final subdivision plan for 122 Demon Road, Phase 2, Lot 41 of Mindy Meadows. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. We have two seconds. <laughs> we, have, we have a tie. We have a tie. Moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 There you go, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Yep. Thank you. Good to see you. Okay. And we are going to go back to Mrs. Zerby again, this time for action on a preliminary and final subdivision and lot addition plan of Matthew and Rebecca Small and Christopher Carr, this plan 20-11. Mrs. Zerby. Yes, this is an equally straightforward plan. It is the subdivision plan for Matthew and Rebecca Small and Christopher Carr. It, possesses, it proposes to subdivide lot 1A from lot 1 and combine it with lot 3 as an add-on lot. Presently, lot 1 stands at 1.173 acres, and lot 3 has a total area of 0.274 acres and is a non-conforming lot. With the addition of lot 1A into lot 3, lot 3 will now have a total area of 0.551 acres and lot 1 will be reduced to a total area of 0.895 acres. The site is in the residential low density zoning district and will be served by public, by public sewer and private water. The plan was approved at the August 5, 2020 Planning Commission meeting. They are also requesting the same five waivers as the last plan which are typical for a small lot line adjustment and staff supports all those waiver requests. There are four administrative comments and two general comments associated with this plan. And Mr. Joe Burgett from Burgett and Associates is here if you have any questions for this plan. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Anything you would like to add to Mrs. Zerby's comments? No, she did a very well presentation. Um, there is, there are two comments that uh, we actually took care of and actually resubmitted here recently. So we believe that everything is taken care of on the plan. So, are all of the lots on Westeria Lane? Uh, one of them is. Okay, because I was one trying them, to figure it out, and all I saw was Westeria Lane. So, yeah, then okay. on the south, on the uh, the south side, you got Westeria Lane in the north side, and you got. Um, the Laurel Street on the south side. Okay. So you got a long, thin lot, which is owned by the uh, the Smalls, and then you have a small lot, which is bordering Laurel Street, which is owned by the Cars. Cars have a small rectangular. They want to they want to actually purchase some from the long, thin piece from the Smalls. There's okay. a lot of addition. So there's no proposed improvements. The lots are just changing in size. Okay. Yeah. I, I I just saw West Terry, and that's why I was just curious if they were all there. Great. Thank you. Yep. Judge, Mr. Zimbus, any questions? Yeah, straightforward. Yes. Okay. Well, we have no questions, so therefore, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move that uh, we approve the preliminary. Whoops, let's get this up here. We approve the preliminary final subdivision and lot addition plan of Matthew and Rebecca Small and Christopher Carr, as outlined. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 There you go, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Okay, we'll now proceed to improvement guarantee. Guarantee, there is one. Chelsea Falls phase one, a reduction in bond. I assume everything here is boilerplate. So do we have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we improve, we 
approve the improvement guarantee for Chelsea Falls Phase 1 in the reduction. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor <coughs> signify by saying aye. 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 And that takes us to the payment of bills for the Lower Paxton Township and Lower Paxton Township Authority. And I'm going to get this right the first time. Yeah. Mr. Treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I move to approve payment of the bills for Lower Paxton Township and the Lower Paxton Township Authority. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 Anything else, board members? Any other comments? Wow. Very efficient meeting this evening. Our next board meeting will be a business meeting on Tuesday, September 1, 2020 at 7 p.m., uh, we will, among other items of business, be appointing a supervisor to fill the vacancy uh, created by the resignation of Mr. Chrisman. What is, again, the deadline, Brad, for interested individuals to provide resumes to us? Uh, this Friday, the 21st. It's Friday, the 21st. <coughs> and then on Tuesday, September 1st, we will take a vote to fill that vacancy, among, I'm sure, many other items of business. So with that, seeing nothing else for this evening, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. We're on the same page tonight. <laughs> Moved by Mr. Zumas. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 Thank you. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.